new from Lyric Studios. We're gonna do the monkey. October 1999 from Lyric Studios. Get ready to wiggle. New from Lyric Studios. Well, just look at the time. It's time for a rhyme. Oh, boy. So come on along for Smile's laughter and song. Writing rhymes sounds like fun. Plus, Mother Goose will appear and she'll spread some good cheer. Why don't you all come with me for a visit right now? In Barney's Rhyme Time Rhythm, you can rhyme along with him. Let's have a party. With 35 rhymes and song after song, you absolutely, positively can't go wrong. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. You'll flip with delight because it's fun at first sight. Those rhymes were still little tenders. <laughs> See Mother Goose like never before, with rhyme after rhyme after rhyme galore. <laughs> well, I must say, this has been a simply glorious day. Sing I Love You, You Love Me. Catch Barney's Rhyme Time Rhythm on VHS and DVD. All new from Lyric Studios. What could be better than Mail from Barney? Mail from Barney, ten times a year. Join the Barney Buddies Club and get six issues of Barney Magazine, four activity-filled newsletters that include a special parent section, and a Barney Buddies Club kit, all for a one-year membership of 1997. Call 1-800-2-BARNEY and join today. After all, everyone loves mail, especially from Barney. Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos.
out the lights, well... <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. What you doing? We're playing, Barney, and it goes absolutely, positively... Uh, super D-duper. <laughs> right. It's great to be outside. It's been raining for two days, so we couldn't come outside. Ooh. But it's finally stopped. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. Let's find something to do inside. Okay, come on, everybody. <laughs> what can we play on a rainy day till the sun comes out and the clouds go away? We can still have fun if the sky is gray when we play on a rainy day. <laughs> Let's put together some puzzles. Build a castle with wood and blocks. Ooh. We can play, I wish. Shoots the dog new tricks. Or make a big clubhouse out of a box. <laughs> what can we play on a rainy day? Till the sun comes out and the clouds go away. We can still have fun if the sky is gray. When we play on a rainy day. Pretend we're on a raft in the ocean. Draw a picture of a shiny new car. <laughs> we could tell some stories, read some books, take a trip on a ship to a faraway star. What can we play on a rainy day till the sun comes out and the clouds go away? We can still have fun if the sky is gray when we play on a rainy day. It's fun on a rainy day. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do on a rainy day is to tell stories. Hey, let's make the parachute into a tent. Mm -hmm. We can pretend we're camping and tell stories around the campfire. Oh, oh let's go! <laughs> <laughs> there, our tent is finished. <laughs> this is great, Barney. Want to hear a scary story? Sure. <laughs> scary stories and campfires go together. <laughs> Sitting around the campfire, one of the things that's fun is to tell some scary stories and try to scare everyone. And try to scare everyone. Cause it's kind of fun getting scared when you know it's not for real. So surrounded by your friends. Nothing will get you, but you feel that tingly feel. You feel that tingly feel. When the story starts to get scary, giving me goosebumps galore. I just cover my ears and close my eyes, but first tell a little bit more. First tell a little bit more. Cause it's kind of fun getting scared, when you know it's not for real. Surrounded by your friends. to hear my sort of scary story? Yes. <laughs> okay, once upon a time, there were four friends, kind of like us, and one dinosaur, kind of like Barney. They were out camping in the woods on a dark night, when all of a sudden, they heard a loud crash. Oh, oh, oh. Like that sound? Just like that. Anyway, after the crash, Campers heard a how. Oh! What happened next? They heard a footstep on a twig. Ouch! Oh, oh, that wasn't a twig. Someone just tripped over my tail. But who? That's who! Everybody, oh, oh, oh. what were you doing in the dark? Hi, PJ. PJ. 
Mm -hmm. Well, my glad it was you. Jason was telling a scary story. Well, it wasn't too scary, but we didn't know it was you bumping into things in the dark. And tripping over tails. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to scare anybody, but why did you have the lights out? We were making up stories while we're waiting for the rain to stop. Oh, that sounds like fun! On rainy days at home, Ward and I play pretend with a blanket. How do you do that, Carlos? We make believe it's lots of different things, like a raft on the ocean. Ah, uh, but we don't have a blanket. I know, but we could use our imaginations and make up stories that use the parachute in different ways. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have an idea already. May I go first? Oh, oh sure. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, Bye. then. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I wonder what Tasha's going to do with the parachute. Well, if she uses her imagination, there are a number of things she could do. Number? Did I hear someone say number? Oh. Wow. Why, well, that reminds me of a story about a very lonely little number. Oh, why, it's Stella. I, I mean, Tasha the Storyteller. <laughs> Jumbo. Huh? That means hello in Swahili. Oh. Jumbo, Jumbo, Tasha. <laughs> What's Swahili? It's a language they speak in Kenya. That's a country in Africa. Wow, I love your clothes, Tasha. You made a really cool dress out of the parachute. Thank you, Min. My parachute dress isn't exactly like the kind women wear in Africa, but sometimes their dresses have lots of pretty colors like this. My hat is called the Kufi. Did you say you have a story for us about a number? Why, indeed I do, Jason. It's a poem about a lonely little number. All right. I should just gonna tell us a story. I like it. Once there was a number whose name was simply One. He often played all by himself, but didn't have much fun. He was feeling sad and blue until he met the number Two. They were happy as can be when introduced to number three. Soon came a knock upon the door, an instant jolly number four. They all beat drums with little sticks, brought by the numbers five and six. Skipping rope was really great when joined by numbers seven and eight. And one was very happy when he made friends with nine and ten. Now, I'm not lonely anymore, said number one to number four. We'll be your friends and play again, said numbers three and five and ten. I've had a lot of fun today, number one was heard to say. They finished playing many games. Can you help me say their names? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Moja, Mbili, Tatu, Ne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Name, Tisa, Kumi. Oh, hey, we can use these numbers to have some fun. Let's limbo! Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see how low you can go. We love to do the number limbo. We love to do the number limbo. As we go under, we see the number is set at number three. The, the bar was set, set at number three. Everyone went under then. Now we move it lower to number two. So you can start to limbo again. We love to do the number limbo. We love to do the number limbo. As we go under, we see the number is set at number two. The bar was set at number two. Everyone went under then. Now we move it lower to number one. So you can start to limbo again. We love to do the number limbo. We love to do the number limbo. As we go under, we see the number is set at number one. The bar is set at number one. Everyone 
Barney, they're pretending the parachute is a blanket. You're right, BJ. Oh, I think Carlos is going to tell a story. <laughs> this is a story of a boy who went to bed with his favorite pillow and his favorite teddy bear. But he couldn't fall asleep, so he called to his mother. Mom, I can't sleep. Could you bring me a glass of water, please? Here's your glass of water. Now you can go to sleep. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, son. But even with a favorite pillow and his favorite teddy and a glass of water, the boy still couldn't fall asleep. Mom, I still can't fall asleep. So the boy's mother knew what to do. When I was a little girl, I used to pretend sheep were jumping over my bed. I'd count the sheep, and before I could say little Bo Peep, I'd fall fast asleep. So the boy's mother sang a lullaby to him. Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, dragging their tails behind them. <laughs> Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you waken him? No, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. <laughs> and so after counting lots of sheep, the little boy fell fast asleep. The end. Oh, 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 <laughs> I like your story, Carlos. The part about counting sheep was funny. <laughs> Wake up now, because I like to know where those sheep came from. <laughs> so do I. Oh, oh, look, they're all over there. <laughs> Maybe their little Bo Peep lost sheep. <laughs> yeah. I think they're my sheep, Barney. I followed them here. Oh, oh look, everybody. It's our good friend, Tommy DePaula. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Barney. Hi, everybody. Glad to see you again. Hi, Mr. DePaula. Call me Tommy, please. Okay? <laughs> Did you say those sheep are yours, Tommy? Yes, Jason. They live right in this book. And they're always running off to help people who can't fall asleep. Oh, well, maybe I can help you get them back into the book. Could you do that, Barney? That would be great. I'll try. I'll just sit this right down over here. <clears throat> Little sheep with wagging tails and fluffy coats indeed. Please come back into your book. The story then we'll read. There you go, Tommy. Oh, thank you, Barney. Oh, you're very welcome. That looks like a fun story. And now that all the sheep are back in the book, would you read it to us? I certainly will, Barney. Oh, good. We won't make a peep while you read to us about sheep. Okay, everyone. The book is called Charlie Needs a Cloak. Oh. Did you draw the pictures too, Tommy? I sure did, BJ. I am the author and the illustrator. Okay, everyone? Gather around. Uh, cool. <laughs> story time. Uh, this is gonna be neat. <laughs> Okay. Charlie was a shepherd. He had a cozy house, a big hat, a crook, and a flock of fat sheep. But everyone said, Charlie needs a cloak. Yeah. Poor Charlie. He really needed a new cloak. <laughs> so in the spring, Charlie sheared his sheep. He washed the wool. <laughs> and carded the wool to straighten it out. Then Charlie spun the wool into yarn. Now, Charlie wanted a red cloak. So he picked some pokeweed berries during the late summer and boiled them over a fire. Then Charlie dyed the yarn red in the berry juice. Oh, wow. 
After the yarn was dry, Charlie put the strands on the loom. In the mouse. And every fall evening, he wove the yarn into cloth. Charlie put the cloth on the table and cut it into pieces. Then he pinned the pieces together and sewed them. And then when winter came, Charlie had a beautiful new red cloak. <laughs> I really liked your story, Tom. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, me too. I never knew you could make clothes out of sheep's wool. Yes, right. The little mouse that was taking something on every page was cute. Yeah, could you good. show us how to draw her? I sure could. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, draw oh, it. Right. <laughs> I'm going to start out with two sort of circles. Uh -huh. Almost circles. There's one. And there's another. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, you know what that is. And I'm going to put some inside of ears here. And I'm going to make two little dots like this with a little white space in them for our little mouse's eyes. Right. I'm going to connect these two ears and make a shape like this with a little point on the bottom of it. Oh, now, you know, the mi mice have whiskers just like cats huh. yeah. because they need them to see if they can get into the holes, the little holes they make or not. Yeah. Now, another big circle like this, big circle shape like that. <laughs> and like that. Yeah. Now, what should I do next? A tail. tail. Right, a tail. okay. Tail. So we we'll give this mouse a nice big <laughs> tail like oh. this. Oh, That's a mouse. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And some little paws like that now let's put some color on here i'm gonna put a pink pink ears oh, yeah. oh, i love pink ears i like rabbits with pink ears and mice with pink ears and a little pink nose and i'm gonna put something here see if you can guess what it is what do i what do mice eat cheese right and let's make it swiss cheese so we'll put some holes in it like that okay now i finished that drawing and what do I have to do now that I finished it? Sign your name. Sign my name, right. And I have a trademark. You know what it is, Barney? Oh, a trademark? Oh, it's a heart. Right, right. I always draw a heart like that. And then I write my name, T-O-M-I-E, Tommy. Oh. See how yeah, easy it is to draw a mouse? Now you can draw one yourself. Oh, that's great. Oh, we've been making up stories all day, Tommy. It's fun. That's great, PJ, because that's because you've been using your imaginations to pretend. Uh -huh. And I use my imagination every time I make up a new story and draw pictures for it. Oh, we like using our imaginations too, Tommy. Oh, great, Barney. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. I promised that I'd deliver this book to the library today. Oh. Um, and Barney, thank you for helping me get my sheep back in the book. <laughs> and thank you for reading your book to us, Tommy. Oh, you're welcome, Barney. It's great. Well, yeah. goodbye, everybody. Oh, so See you again, I hope. Okay? Thanks for coming by. Bye, bye, bye Tommy. See you soon. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Has anyone seen BJ? Who is supposed to tell the next story? Oh. Hey, everybody! Look what I just made with a parachute! Oh. Wow, a big umbrella! Come on, we'll go outside and play, because this umbrella is big enough for a dinosaur and all his friends! Okay! <laughs> all right, come on, guys! Yeah. <laughs> My, isn't this cozy? You, uh, uh, BJ, uh... Well, I don't think your umbrella is quite big enough for all your friends. Oops. <laughs> you would get kind of wet, wouldn't you, Barney? <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> uh, I guess my umbrella isn't big enough for everybody after all. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well... <sighs> It's 
raining, it's pouring. Rain, rain, go away. The old man is snoring. Come again another day. He went to bed and bumped his head. Party's friends all want to play. And couldn't get up in the morning. Believe it has stopped raining. Oh, boy. Let's all go up to the treehouse. I have another idea for the parachute. Okay. Oh. Coming with us, BJ? No, I have to find Sissy. But I had lots of fun today. We'll see you guys. Oh, so long, BJ. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> BJ just left to look for you. And now you found me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're playing with our parachute today, and it's Min's turn. Oh, what are you gonna do, Min? You'll see. Right, Barney? Uh, oh, what do you mean? Uh, oh, that's a great idea, Min. Oh, oh, oh let's get everything together. Oh, oh, oh what? It's in a costume. Where are they going? Let's see what they put there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and baby dinosaurs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> performing under the big top, the Barney Circus presents our dandy little dancer, Min the Magnificent. <laughs> Friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Sometimes rainy days make us sad because we can't go outside to play. But there are lots of things you can do indoors to have fun. Have you ever pretended to camp out and tell stories? You can read books or do the limbo with friends. How low can you go? <laughs> 
Tasha looked very pretty in the dress she made out of our parachute. It's fun to be a ringmaster in a pretend circus. Min was a dancer. You could be the lion tamer. Counting these sheep helped Jason fall asleep. Then they went right back into their storybook. Drawing pictures is fun on any kind of day. You can draw a mouse like this one. Maybe when the rain slows down, you can go back outside under a big umbrella with friends you love. And remember, I love you. Time to warm up your vocal cords for the newest Super De Duper sing along from your favorite Purple Pal. If you love the first Barney songs, you won't want to miss more Barney songs. Now on VHS and DVD. I just love putting on a show! Whoa! Get ready for 23 songs and more than 50 minutes of rib tickling fun, never before seen on home video. Tap your toes and hum along with all your favorites, including. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Hickory Dickory Dock! And Old MacDonald had a farm. And on this farm, he had a pig. E -I -E -I -O. What better way to start things off than with a song? Get me, I can fly. So join Barney, Baby Bop, and BJ and sing along. Tap your toes to the happy beats. <laughs> Did you know that laughing is good for you? And so is singing. Now you can do both with more Barney songs. Available on VHS and DVD from Lyric Studios. New from Lyric Studios. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, welcome to the one and only Super D Duper Circus. I love the circus. And you will too. Come along with Barney and his friends as they sing, dance, and play pretend in the wonderful new release, Barney's Super Singing Circus, now available on VHS and DVD. There's a lot to see at the circus, like funny monkeys, laughing lions, happy horses, and crazy clowns, and a bunch of great songs to sing, like Brushing My Teeth, and the hilarious song, Laugh With Me. Oh, oh, oh. Eat, eat, eat. There are 15 songs and over 50 minutes of spectacular Yay. sights and sounds under the big top. It's tremendous! It's stupendous! Get Barney's Super Singing Circus on VHS and DVD from Lyric Studios. And then... Let the fun begin! Oh, there he goes! <laughs> Don't be late, because you've never been to a school quite like this. It's me. This is a school? Oh, it sure is. One with lots of fun and surprises. Join Barney and his friends for a day of love, laughter, and learning in Let's Play School, his newest home video. I'm the teacher. Lesson one, alphabet fun. 26 different letters. Lesson two. Numbers! Oh, it's very important to learn about numbers in school. This should be fun. <laughs> then, after ABCs and 1, 2, 3s, it's time for... Macaroni and Cheese Surprise! <laughs> That's right! Because no day at school would be complete without a trip to the lunchroom. From story time to finger painting. Learning's always cool when Barney's in school. Come on along and let's play school. Here we go! Now available on home video from Lyric Studios. What would you say if you could enjoy some of the best Barney videos ever for some of the best prices around? Oh, it's super deep duper! <laughs> Tell all your friends, because for a limited time, Lyric Studios is proud to bring to you your all-time favorite Barney videos at a very special price. What, all of them? 
Join Barney and all the kids for classic adventures like... Once Upon a Time. Where it's page after page of storybook fun. Over the mountain to see what they could see. Then, learn about animals from A to Z in Barney's Alphabet Zoo. Oh. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Or set sail for a favorite destination. I see imagination island! It's straight ahead! Yes! <laughs> There's no place quite like it. We'll use all five of our senses. From taste to hearing, you'll feel all the excitement in Barney's sensational day. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, thank you, thank you, Dodger. Don't miss out on one great video after another. Lights, camera, action! And Price is guaranteed to make you smile. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! It's the best of Barney at a reduced price for a limited time. Only from Lyric Studios. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. If you love colors, that's red, and that's yellow, and that's blue. And if you love shapes, oh, well, I think that I can help with that. <laughs> then you'll love Barney's all-new Colors and Shapes Video 2-Pack. Come along as Barney and his friends discover the many unique colors and shapes that surround us. From sponge paint... It's Barney! <laughs> ...to hula hoops. Hey, my pretty hoops! <laughs> There's fun for all. It's everyone's favorite dinosaur. <laughs> as you've never seen them before. First, there's red, blue, and circles, too where Barney and the children set out to learn about colors and discover all sorts of interesting shapes. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> then, ahoy mateys, there's treasure to be found in the treasure of Rainbow Beard, where kids discover Rainbow Beard's map of shapes and colors and use it to help lead them to the treasure. Oh, treasure. It's twice the fun, twice the song, and twice the purple. But you'd better hurry, because Colors and Shapes is available for a limited time only. Wow. So call your friends. Oh, Barney! Oh, yes <laughs> Because Barney's newest two-pack is here. Colors and Shapes, from Barney Home Video.